honestly, what's an ultra luxury six star cruise like? Do you get caviar every day? And is the captain replaced by a computer? Stay tuned. Welcome to In Bed with Luxury. This is Charles Paddington. I'm the founder of this unique travel channel. We've tested luxury hotels, cruises, trains and breathtaking destinations all over the world. What's luxury on a cruise ship? It's the size for a starter. That's the real criteria. Small is beautiful, small is luxury. No long queues, no hustle, no crowds waiting for legions of buses at the ports. So welcome at the luxury liner Seaborne in Core. But let's have a close look at this super luxury ship. Wanna see my cabin? Well, join me. Seaborn Encore has won eight awards over the years, including Best for Cabins and Best for Embarkation. Indeed, the most basic of suites are 24 square meters big, have a decent sized balcony and a marble lined bathroom. And they all come with a stocked minibar, personalized stationery, umbrellas, fluffy robes and slippers. The rooms are absolutely fine, though one could debate whether you could could really call a 24 square meter cabin a suite. But apart from that, the Seaborn Encore and the Ovation are newer and bigger than the older Seaborn ships and they can carry more passengers, 600 instead of 458. But still, it's never crowded and it's also the design of Adam Tihani with his curvy design style, avoiding edges, that gives you a yacht-like feeling. Have you subscribed already? Thanks. Do you 
want to compare these cabins to the suites of a much cheaper and bigger non-luxury but premium ship, well, have a look at the German cruise liner My Ship 5, Mein Schiff 5. Watch our movie. Another important criteria for ultra-luxury is the passenger-crew ratio. At the Seaborn in Core, there are 418 crew members for 604 passengers. So service is personalized and impeccable and there's a personal butler for each cabin. He or she would, among other things, deliver meals and also basic food like a portion of caviar. subscribe yet please one of the things I deeply dislike is when shipping companies lure their passengers by a seemingly low price and then charge on a lot of things on board you even may have to pay compulsory tips per day not so on the Seaborn in core. Gratuity is included and there are no supplemental charges for dining anywhere on board the ship. So let's see the dining options. The Colonnade is the main restaurant. Breakfast time is between 8 and 10.30. Dinner is usually served here following loose themes like Mediterranean, Singaporean or Chinese. On Indian evenings there is just a buffet and you have to um, get your food yourself. Every couple of nights there is a Thomas Keller theme for which you need to reserve. Best for me is the alfresco area. When temperatures are right I love dining outside. On a longer cruise, you long for choice and change. We loved this new two seaborne dining venue where you get sushi and sashimi, bento boxes with miso salmon or teriyaki chicken and desserts like a green tea sorbet.
Another notable addition is the grill, inspired and from time to time supervised by three Michelin star awarded American chef Thomas Keller. Keller started his career in his mother's restaurant in Palm Beach, then worked and learned for a decade in France and finally opened his legendary restaurant, the French Laundry in Napa Valley. The grill is not a real version of the laundry, but you get gourmet dishes like lobster, a ribeye steak of Snake River farm beef or Dover sole. The focus is on American taste, so Caesar salad or New England clam chowder would be a starter. The interior is classy and is inspired by top steakhouses of the 60s. For a good cocktail, shaken or stirred, there are several options, like the beautiful observation bar, the pastry bar, the sky bar and the sophisticated club. Or you just enjoy a splendid afternoon tea. We like the little Peixio restaurant at the pool, especially in the warm tropical evenings. It's casual and there is a choice of three salads, four mains and the pasta of the day. Keep it simple with dishes like shrimp cocktails, swordfish or steaks. As mentioned, food is really good on board and there are no supplemental charges. That's why the shipping company Seaborn, a subsidiary of cruise giant Carnival, had to cut costs elsewhere. They simply replaced the captain and his whole crew by a much cheaper Tesla self-drive computer. Ah, no, don't worry, it's just a joke. In fact, the Seaborn Encore is in good experienced hands and it's a very stable vessel, even in rougher seas. The Seaborn Incor is a luxury liner and there are only up to 604 passengers on board. Yet some passengers want even more privacy and so there is a VIP area on the top deck you can book. It is called the Retreat. Though there is free champagne, the Retreat is not cheap. But the guests on these beds don't talk about money anyway. They simply have it. Warning! Cruises may increase your weight. You can either punish yourself in a gym like that, or you just relax and get a nice massage in the small spa.
Have you subscribed already? Thanks. That's all for today. Hope you didn't get seasick. Do not miss our many other interesting inspirational reviews. Have a look at our website and please subscribe to In Bed with Luxury, the unique travel channel. We deliver fresh, finger licking good inspirations every two or three weeks or so. All the best to you, your Charles Paddington. Thank you.